Hello, assalamu alaikum, and welcome to another edition of Zoom In on the Halal Metropolis, where we're checking in on the Muslim community and seeing how people are doing and seeing how uh, projects and different initiatives are being affected by the coronavirus. Um, here with me, we have Nada Alhanuti, and she is the executive director of the Michigan chapter of Engage. Uh, welcome, Nada. Welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for inviting me. Yeah, and uh, I wanted to ask you, I mean, this is such a big year. It's an election year. Mm -hmm. It's a big year for politics. Yeah. Um, and so many things are being disrupted and affected by it. So I want to get into all that. But, but you know, how are you holding up and, and how's your family doing right now? Um, honestly, it was a little hard at first. Um, I am human, so I do get cabin fever from time to time, but it really made me think about my privilege. I'm privileged to work at home um, and I'm privileged to um, keep busy and have my job keep me sane. So, alhamdulillah, so, um, and my family's healthy. Uh, so I think this is a really good time to reflect on, you know, everything that you have. Yeah, same thing. I'm, I'm a very extroverted person. And so being home, you know, all the time is a little bit, it's a little bit of a struggle. Um, you know, so, so getting into a little bit of your work, uh, you know, I know that you, you, you probably had big plans for this year and supporting certain candidates. And so let's get into that a little bit. And, and so how has the political landscape been affected? Um, and, and how has your work been affected by what's going on? Yeah, definitely. Um, uh, you know, I, I'm, a, I, I'm, I like, I literally organized my calendar to a T for 2020. Um, I knew exactly what was going to happen every month, but um, it's okay. Uh, we shifted everything virtually and um, we launched our Million Muslim Votes uh, website. So there you can go request an absentee ballot. You can register to vote. You can become a partner. Um, Masajid and other Muslim organizations can join, um, can be a partner. And what, what, that, what we do is we give you access to our data and we give you training to our data. Um, so just because, you know, um, some things, uh, our, our country shut down doesn't mean democracy shut down. Our job in MGA is just to make sure every Muslim goes out to vote. And right now it's more important than ever for our voices to be heard, for us to hold our um, elected officials accountable. So we are going virtual via everything. So lately we've been hosting um, quite a few town halls. We had one with Abdullah Hamoud and Debbie Dingle, uh, Dr. Rahman, who is in the ICU, and Andy Levin. We just had one with um, Secretary of State. And the reason why we're doing this is to let everyone know their resources. Hey, these people work for you. If you need something, you can connect to me and I will connect um, to you or you can connect directly to them. I want people to still utilize um, their power as constituents. With that said, um, we are trying to, uh, we are working with Secretary Tate to promote the absentee um, uh, ballot initiative. So they're gonna be mail mailing it out to every registered voter and we're gonna be doing a text messaging campaign to make sure that every single person fills out their absentee ballot and mails it in. And we're also gonna be doing a heavy digital voter registration campaign. And during GOTV season, that's not gonna stop us. We 2020 is a huge election year. And uh, via uh, our PAC, we just endorsed uh, Joe Biden. And we're gonna be endorsing a bunch of really, really important key races. One of our top uh, race is Rashida Tlaib, and we need to make sure we win. You know, Absolutely. We're so we're gonna make we're gonna be uh, heavy on the calls, heavy on the text messages. We're gonna be doing um, a lot of info, um, infographic literature, a lot of mail outs. So it's not gonna stop us. And we're here to let people know that just because you know our government is shut down, our our you know our, our the world is shut down, democracy is still an, a huge factor. Hmm. Yeah, and I mean, like a lot of organizations, it seems like you guys are adjusting very quickly mm -hmm. um, to everything that's happening. Um, so, you know, one of the things that, you know, it's this, this crisis is really highlighting um, are some of the issues within our healthcare system and our economy. Um, what are some of the important issues that, that you're trying to push candidates on and trying to inform voters on when they are considering candidates right now? Absolutely. So before um, before all this happened, we really tried to push three um, initiatives, and we've had about eleven in district meetings for them with congressional members. We try to push um, Senate Bill One uh, for anti BDS. Um, we tried to push the No Ban Act. The No Ban Act was like probably the most important thing in our agenda. And then we have the 
um, Kashmir resolution. But now we are focused on the stimulus package, making sure that we listen to our community members, what they need, and we are advocating that um, in Congress. So uh, this is, again, this is why we have these town halls, so people can express to the, uh, to the elected official what they really need, and they can get their sources. So we're advocating for you to get your resources through these packages. Hmm. And, you know, um, in your communication with um, uh, some of the candidates who are running for office or running for re-election, uh, how are they adjusting in this situation and how are they reaching out to um, the constituents or the voters uh, right now? Honestly, I'm very proud of like there, we have a few elected officials that we're, we have a very good relationship with and I'm very proud of how proactive they've been. I, I will tell you this, Rashida, Rashida, Rashida Tlaib's not sleeping. Um, she, her constituent, uh, her constituent services is on 24 seven and they are serving people individually. So I'm extremely proud of like, of, of, of some of our elected officials and how proactive and hands on they're being. Um, uh, so I'm definitely seeing that. I'm seeing that specifically out of Rashida, out of Andy, out of Debbie. Abdullah Hamoud has been amazing. I get my information from him every single day. So I've, I think they, they, they are even more intimate with how they provide resources to their constituents. I went on a town hall with Rashida the other day and they had about 100 questions and I worked with Rashida when I was 21. And I will tell you one thing, they are answering and they are serving every single person one by one. So um, I'm actually really happy about the solidarity they're creating with the community. Yeah, and and you know, I know the I know the primaries and the and the elections are still a couple months away, but you know, what are some resources that you can tell folks about where they can turn to um, to get educated on some of the issues, um, including any materials that you guys have, your website, anything like that? You know, where can people go to get educated? Absolutely. Um, I'm gonna do a little pitch. Please go to millionmuslimvotes.com. We are actually hosting um, training webinars. We just hosted one last week with um, how to tell your story. Um, and we will be hosting maybe uh, like a few every month. And there on millionmuslimvotes.com, you will find videos, training videos. You will find resources to register to vote. And again, if you are um, um, uh, associated with a uh, mosque or an organization, you can sign up to also uh, do the GOTV work, do the get out the vote work. So just because we're at home does not mean we don't have to be proactive. And you can also physically reach out to me. We're gonna be doing this work. We need volunteers more than ever because just because again, we're in this pandemic doesn't mean um, you know, we're gonna stand idly by. It's 2020 and we need to win. The Muslim and minority communities need to win. Absolutely. Wow, Nada, thank you so much for all the amazing work that you're doing and, and you're not slowing down at all, I can see. <laughs> so keep up the great work and stay safe. Um, thank you so much for sharing your time with us. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, thank you so much.